joy and sorrow, sorrow and joy. What is normal? The Lord says, sadness or sorrow is prelude. Prelude to joy. Sadness is a kind of preparation for the joy that follows. It can be difficult to understand because in some people's life it can be, the truth can be a lot of tragedies and sufferings. They, so for some people, life can be a never-ending suffering. That can be true. Okay, the life is very short, the whole life, all suffering and tragedies, nothing to smile about. I hope you listen to the, the words of the entrance hymn this morning. Written by a man who went through a lot of tragedies in his life. Horatio Spafford, he died in 1871. The story you may know or you may not know. The story is he lost his son first, then he sent his wife and his four daughters to England on a ship. And there was a shipwreck and all his daughters perished in the shipwreck. His wife survived. He had uh, sent uh, his do wife and two daughters to England for a holiday to have a cruise. On the way, they perished. Okay, his wife survived. Here in the sad news, again, he gets into a... on his way to England those days by ship. And the ship passes through the place in the ocean where the shipwreck or the, 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 the tragedy happened. And there he writes this song. So get the contest right. A man who has been to tragedies writes these words of faith where the tragedy happened. It's all well with my soul. It's all well with my soul. It needs a great faith to pass through tragedies, to believe that there will be moments of joy or a life of joy after this. So the message is, always believe in the midst of your suffering and sorrow, there'll be the surprise of a joy after this. Difficult to believe and difficult to accept because in those moments of joy, it, you are so much you are so disturbed and confused and you can't believe in the love of God. And how can you hold on to the love of God when you through, go through so much suffering in life? But still hold on. Because our faith is this. God is love. And if he is love, he can, he can only bless me with, with whatever is happening in my life. That is the logic. If God is love, and he will not allow anything that is bad for me, if that's what I believe, even this moments of sorrow too will be a prelude to the surprise of a joy that is beyond my understanding.